Time for another edition of Thanks But No Thanks, where we say thanks but no thanks to a trend or a story bubbling up in the news. Today, we're talking about beauty, at least beauty as it's defined by a brand that has gone so far over the woke line, it is getting serious backlash now from its own customers. Ulta Beauty is a cosmetics and fragrance brand with more than a thousand stores throughout the country and tens of thousands of employees. Last month, Ulta launched a new video series on their YouTube and social media accounts called The Beauty Of, with a focus on a different representative influencer each episode. Sounds interesting. Let's see what's going on. The series is hosted by David Lopez, a hairstylist and beauty expert. The first episode is called The Beauty Of Fatness and features Virgie Tovar, who Ulta describes as an author, activist, and expert in weight-based discrimination who has taken her body back from a fat-phobic society. Let's take a look. Really, we're looking at different layers where fat phobia exists. We're talking about the interpersonal layers, you know, how we relate to it and how it shows up in our lives. As a cisgendered, queer, gay man, you know, our whole identity revolves around, like, let's be as fit as possible, thin right. as possible, be as desirable as possible. Fat phobia. We're looking at the system that you're talking about. We love seeing magazine covers of what you said, a over uh, a fat celebrity, for lack of a better word, that now has lost 100 pounds. We right. love to see that. And I want to start by saying, that, you know, no one has to be healthy. Tea. No, right? Like, Tea. I mean, it's like, no, like there is no governing body Tea. that's like out there putting, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, no one owes anybody that in, in either the traditional sense of the word or any other more innovative or, you know, more politicized, maybe even version of that word. You don't have to be healthy, but we don't have to celebrate somebody who is morbidly obese as healthy. That's a lie. By the way, what is tea? Tea. What's that? I don't. Truth? I, Abby looked it up. Truth. You can't even say truth anymore. You just got to go tea. That's cooler. This goes on for 33 minutes, these two. The response in the YouTube comments from the Ulta customers was pretty universally outraged. One commentator, Crystal, writes in, I was obese and 300 pounds. I was always in pain. I was slowly killing myself with food and not moving enough. And critiqued the whole beauty movement, saying, y'all are playing with your lives. Ulta actually responded. Comments such as yours perpetuate the discrimination we're trying to combat. What? The intersectionality of health and fatness is nuanced, <laughs> often personal, and needs to consider more than just one's relationship with food. So, in other words, shut the F up, Crystal. What do you know, former fat person? <laughs> which brings us to episode two, which came out last week. This time, Dave sits down with someone named Dylan Mulvaney for an episode titled The Beauty of Girlhood. We actually talked about Dylan Mulvaney recently on an episode of this show when Coleman Hughes was here because Dylan was featured at a Forbes Women's Summit. This is Dylan. Day three of being a girl and I've already become a bimbo with <laughs> the queen herself. We are drinking martinis at 2.55 on a Monday on Sunset Boulevard and then we're going makeup shopping. We love it. Cheers. Oh my God. Yeah. So let's take a look at how this dive into, quote, girlhood goes with Dylan and Dave. And we're on day 167 of girlhood. Mr. Hollywood, who I'm right oh there. God. Hollywood, zoom in on that. But if we're going to talk about, like, beauty, femme, my signature, I mean, if anyone follows me on Instagram, it's a pretty much a signature look. It's yeah, always like, we know it. we it's just it. very beautiful. It's very beat. I always elongate my eyes. I'm always taped. Like, I just like to present the most feminine parts of me. But the thing is, is that I, um, a makeup artist friend of my adore, does my makeup sometimes. Mm -hmm. He's one of the only people who does it. And he he has said to me multiple times, like, there's a point when you, I'm doing your makeup and when I watch you do yours, I see the euphoria happen. It, like, shows up in you. Well, I got to tell you in person, your skin is, like, gorge. Yeah. Like, it, it, <laughs> it's giving me, like, gal out on the town, but yeah. without a pore on her face. She paid a lot of money for that. <gasps> so for I, well, that. I got to get, get some of that. Oh my God, these are two biological men. <laughs> Dave, the host, is wearing a long blonde wig. Here's what happened. When Ulta tweeted the preview of this with the sentence, trans girls can do it all, with those annoying clapping hands 
the emojis behind every single word, and said the episode featured David and Dylan talking all things girlhood. Ulta's 600,000 followers had a big issue with the framing. Maggie tweeted, those are two adults. It's very creepy to hear them talking about girlhood when neither has ever experienced it. To which Ulta responded, we believe that beauty has no boundaries and we want to create an environment where all expressions of beauty are welcome. It's clearly secretly Dave making the comments. In other words, shut up, Maggie. Or another one who tweeted, two adult men talking about their experiences with girlhood. Please explain the difference between woman face and black face because I can't see one. To which Ulta replied, hate has no place at Ulta Beauty or our social channels. Please refrain from po- from posting disrespectful or hateful comments. This went on for dozens of tweets until Ulta decided to fin- make a final statement this weekend saying the premise of the beauty of is to feature conversations that widen the lens surrounding traditional beauty standards. The intersectionality of gender identity is nuanced, something David and Dylan acknowledge themselves within the episode. Regardless of so- how somebody identifies, they deserve our respect. Ulta Beauty, we can respect those two without making them the face of a video show about Girlhood. Thanks, but no thanks. If you're like me, you're growing more and more concerned about the future. The market is all over the place. Inflation is at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates are skyrocketing. Market experts, some say we're already in a recession. Most say we're definitely going in one. And many are using scary terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. If you want to protect your future, call a precious metal dealer I trust. And that's American Hartford Gold. They can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. All it takes to get started is a short phone call, and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or inside your IRA or 401k. And they keep it simple. They are the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. And as an exclusive offer for our fans, if you call them right now, they will give you up to $1,500 of free silver and a free safe on qualifying orders. So don't wait. Call them now. It's 866-518-2955. Call 866-518-2955 or text Megan, M-E-G-Y-N, to 65532. Again, that's 866-518-2955 or text M-E-G-Y-N to 65532. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.